According to BBC, the West Africa trade block ECOWAS mentioned sanctions on Ninja and they did not put electricity as part of the sanction. And I think if they didn't mention something as part of the sanction, they are not supposed to activate it. Even our own father said, there are some decisions our father or our parents will want to make. They will call us, they will have a formal discussion with us. This is why I want to do what I want to do. For in any normal country in the world, for them to go into war, they must discuss with their people. They must tell their people, okay, they won't go into war, and this is why they want to go into war. They will hold press conference so that they will say that journalists will ask questions back. You understand? They will ask the questions of the, the mind of Nigerians. They will ask the government that question. So the government will answer that they will understand, okay, this is why we're going to war. On July 30th, after the coup, July 26th, Chairman ECOWAS came out and he said he gave military junta seven days ultimatum to return back power. But I'll tell you what happened. According to BBC, August 2nd, the power to Niger, they cut up. You're in negotiation with someone, you're in dialogue with someone, you give me that person seven days ultimatum. Before the, that time elapsed, you've gone to cut power. The funny thing, they say uh, they had light for just one hour. Their light went off for five hours. Who oh, did this Nigeria? This light, that generator light safe. The supply on that country, light. They complain, say they don't get light for five hours. As I they talk to you, if I see light for five hours, fear would cash me. I would fear. Because my owner, if this light did for five hours, before we see light, now it will be another kind. We wish two weeks or three weeks. <laughs> And I'm sure a lot of Nigerians they are facing the same thing too. What mm -hmm. I talk through now, if you see light for five hours straight, man, you know go fear. I'm not saying that there are not lights in some places, but I can say more than seventy or even eighty percent of Nigerians are suffering what I'm saying now. But then I'm top, topic for another time. Let's continue our discussion. Nigeria supplies seventy percent of the electricity in Niger. So you cutting power. When they still dialogue, it shows how inhuman because he did not put or consider the citizens of Niger. Hear what former President Buhari did. In June 2022, after the coup in Burkina Faso and Guinea, he said to echo us that We must, therefore, ensure that, in whatever decision we take, we must remember the mass of the populations in the affected countries who are victims of the unconstitutional changes of government and adverse consequences of isolation brought about. For you to go into war, you must think about its citizens before you go into war. And for a military government not to react, someone that is conversant with war, he knows war, he don't fight war before, he no go into war with Guinea, he no go into war with Burkina Faso. He tried to negotiate, try to talk, try to go into dialogue with them. And the civilian government from nowhere just pop up because see he, nobody could tell her what he would do. Civilian government, we don't know anything about war. That won't go into war. In 2020, youth came out in mass to protest against their government. And what happened? They were killed. They were massacred. And not one of these European countries came out uh, or echo us came out to challenge what was happening in Nigeria because of waiting interest. Joseph,